Ah, man. You know what? Even though it's the most beautiful time of year, fall with the leaves changing, at night it gets down below 30 in some places, that usually means that it's time to store your RV. Tell you when you're talking about an investment like your rv the one thing you want to do more than enjoy it is definitely protect it and you know full timers will tell you that the best part about living full time on the road in the rv is not having to store it but since most of us are weekend warriors you want to make sure you protect that investment and protect it properly so this product guide will hopefully give you some tips, tricks, but more importantly, some products you'll need to make sure your investment is protected so that when you do pull it out of storage, it's ready to go. What do you say we hop inside and take a look at some? Come on. Okay, so when it comes to storing that RV, the first step that you wanna do, in most cases, is going to be to clean the RV. Sure, you got all the wash that you need for the outside and the roof, get that nice and done and taken care of, but a lot of people forget about the inside. One of the things I wanted to show you today, a great product to keep inside the RV, not only for just regular cleaning, but also for disinfecting and to get rid of that mold and mildew and soap scum, is the Mean Green Mildew Destroyer. Now, this is a great cleaner, just all purpose, but when you're getting ready to store it, this works great on practically every surface inside your RV. Whether you got the press surface countertops, the solid surface countertops, the tile in the bathroom, the tile in the kitchen, the glass doors, the shower curtains, you to get in there spray everything down get it nice and clean so that before you store it you don't have to worry about that additional moisture that may not only be in the coats from when you last used it but may try to seep its way in through those cold nights with the temperature fluctuations depending on where you're storing your rv take the preparatory step get that mold and mildew taken care of snag some of the mean green and clean that rv before we go on to the next step So now that you got the main areas of your RV on the inside clean and protected from mold and mildew, one of the things that you definitely do not want to tackle as a service bill is replacing an awning. So extend the awning all the way out to give it a good chance to dry before you clean it. And then when you do clean it, pick up some of the Stetford Premium Awning Cleaner. Let me tell you, this not only will help get rid of those stains, it also has a UV blocker in it. It's biodegradable, it's non-flammable, so it's safe to use. Um, and with that UV blocker, it'll make sure that awning stays good and looking new for years to come. But when you do clean it, make sure you spray this down, get it good and covered, get it like a wet sponge to do the cleaning, and then let the awning fully dry before retracting it in, and then moving on to the next step of storing your RV. Now, when it comes to storing your RV, one of the things you want to do is winterize it. We have a couple of videos we're gonna link down below that's gonna help you with that process, especially if you're new to it. One of them will be an explanation on the gear that you need for winterizing your RV. Everything from the wash and wax like this one here, to the dry -Z air dehumidifier to place inside your RV, to all the tools you're gonna need to winterize that RV from the blowout hose, to the quick turn kit, to if you have a pump, the bypass kit, as well as the blowout plug, the hand pump, which is useful, and of course, the antifreeze. And if you do have engine, you will need the Stabil storage fuel stabilizer. If you need to know how to winterize your unit, my buddy Ian did a video showing you a great way to do it. We'll also link that one down below so you can figure out how to do it properly and not have to worry about a big service bill come first of the year when you bring your RV out of storage. Now that you got your RV cleaned, the awning cleaned, you got it winterized, it's now time to put that RV in storage. And one of the things you wanna think about is making sure that RV is level, especially when storing it. Now, a great online item to pick up is the Anderson RV Leveler. Pretty much levels that RV one time the first time. And not only that, more importantly, it gets your tires up off the ground because what can happen, the weight of your RV can actually make those tires get some flat spots in them, especially if it sits for a long time on a hard surface. So if you get that leveler or pick up yourself some Fast 10 leveling blocks, this will really help improve the wear and tear on those wheels, but more importantly, keep them to where you don't have to worry about yet another service bill or replacing something when you bring that RV out of storage. Now these are heavy duty, 
They come with uh, polypropylene and they come in multiple sizes, multiple colors. But the best part about them is whether you need the two by two, the four by four, or the stackable pyramid, you can customize your leveling with these Fast 10 leveling blocks. Pick up a pair, make sure that you get your tires leveled and ready to go for storage. Now that we have our tires level, let's talk about protecting them. The weather and the sun are the two worst thing for tires when they're sitting outside. You wanna make sure that you snag some tire covers. Not only are they made of heavy duty, UV treated, uh, UV treated water repellent vinyl, they're also, they slip on easily. They got heavy duty plastic grommets that won't rust or corrode. They also come with bungees for a good secure fit. That UV treatment and that water repellent of the vinyl is gonna make sure that that additional UV that hits the tire doesn't wear it down. So, or dry rot. You definitely don't want your tires to dry rot too. So whether you need single axle, double axle, or triple axle, Camping World and Gander has tons of options for your RV in tons of colors too. Me personally, I like the gray only because it's different, but to each their own when it comes to your wheel protection. Just make sure when you're storing your RV, you pick up something to protect those wheels. Hi, I'm Chris Young. I sell propane, and propane accessories. No, but seriously, since we were talking about covering up some stuff, let's talk about things that need some additional cover. Now, we usually don't think about the propane tanks because when we're using them, these are open and exposed to the elements pretty much year round. But mother nature can get a wild hair and she will come after these propane tanks. And once again, because I'm trying to help save you money and protect your investment, you wanna make sure that you get some propane covers. Now, if you do have this heavy duty plastic cover with the tabs that also give you access to the controls as well as the regulators, that's great. But I want you to think about picking up one of these all climate double tank covers, especially for storage. Not only are they heavy duty, they're UV treated and water repellent vinyl. These can still fade, these can still chip and crack. And when you have a cover for your cover, it protects your cover. And then you're covered when it comes to storing your RV. See what I did there? It's a knee slapper. <laughs> but access to your tanks when you need it, especially while you're in storage, if you need to do like I do and always make sure the propane tanks are shut, you get that little wild, oh, did I cut it off, did I cut it off? This still gives you access to get to those tanks if you do have those moments. But protect your tank, your hoses, and your regulators by covering your cover. Make sure my outside kitchen is cleaned before I put this beauty in storage. And you know, one of the things, if you have a generator, got something for you. Whether you got 1,000 or 2,000 or even all the way up to the 7,000, we have generator covers that'll help protect that generator while in storage. They are water resistant, lightweight, breathable fabric. They're also durable. They got double stitching. They got bungees on them to make sure that they stay in place, especially if you're keeping your generator near your RV. You don't want to store it in your house uh, and it might be exposed to some elements. Grab yourself a generator cover to protect that investment as well, because hey, penny saved is a penny earned and I want some nice presents for Christmas this year. Even if you're gonna be putting your motor home in storage, one of the things I recommend is getting yourself a windshield cover. Not only are these durable, they're heavy duty, they're vinyl, which means you got UV protection. They also will help keep the coach cooler. So if you are gonna to have to store this someplace where it might be exposed to the sun, this will help keep that heat out of it because as we know, heat and moisture over long periods of time, those are the enemies to our RVs. And these deluxe covers like this one from Venture Forward, not only is durable UV protectant, it also has holes for the mirrors and roll downs for the windows. So easy installation, magnetic fasteners, durable, they look good. It's like putting sunglasses on your ride. You know what I'm saying? But crucial and also pretty easy to put up. Now for some folks, they have the beautiful luxury of being able to store their RV in a garage or they can store it in a facility where it's gonna stay covered, protected, and even climate controlled year round. Uh, but 
I, even then, I recommend getting yourself an RV cover. For those of us like myself that don't have that garage space or that storage space, getting in cover when you're getting ready to store your RV is essential. Now, sure, we have the Pro Shields, but I'm a huge fan of these Ultra Shield covers, mainly because they got polypropylene that is ultrasonically bonded to a Tyvek material, which is weather resistant, UV resistant, fade resistant. It also allows, if you got any moisture inside the RV, some of them have vents that'll allow that moisture to escape. They got underbelly straps, reinforced welded edges. They look good. You can access the doors if you need to, but strong, durable, and ready to protect your RV. Uh, just pick the one that's right for you. If you got an R, if you got a travel trailer, or fifth wheel, a motorhome, and it falls in between the links here, like if yours is, you know, say, you know, 24 and a half feet, then get the one that's bigger. If it's 25 feet. Get the bigger one so that you have that space. You don't want a cover that's gonna to be too small for you. The other thing I would say is putting these on because they are kind of heavy and cumbersome, plus you have to get on top of the RV to unfold it and put the cover on. It is a two person job. So uh, since we're wrapping this one up, hope you enjoyed this product guide on storing your RV. As always, if you have any questions or need some help, don't hesitate to reach out or come by your local Camping World or Gander and let one of our elite service members help you with protecting your investment. But uh, Bobby, we're gonna get on up on the uh, RV and uh, wait a minute, wait, wait, no, no, you gotta help. Where are you, where are you going? Where are you, get back here, Robert.